welcome back, my fellow collectors of all things awesome. I am Calvin, aka Statue Fanatic, here with another review. And today we're going to take a look at, briefly at a statue, we're going to take a look at a statue, but we're going to look at some really cool things that I got in the mail from a Kickstarter program that I um, I invested in or whatever, however the Kickstarter thing works, you know. And so finally the stuff ships, so I'm so excited about it. Before we get into that, I just want to say thanks to all of the people that hung out with that geek show this past week to roast myself, Seth, uh, I think Pete, and George on some of our early videos celebrating MCE's fourth year on the internet. Congratulations, guys. But uh, yeah, that was really fun to watch. I got the little link up there if you want to watch it. What you see now, not the same guy back then, but it was really fun watching the growth. Um, of everybody. So, all right, so what are we going to talk about today? Uh, we are going to talk about a character that I absolutely love. This happens to be the character that I reviewed uh, in my first video. It was the XM version of the darkness. But this here is the Claiborne Moore version of this character that is more than 20 years old. I bought this when it first came out. But again, this is a very one of the very early statues that I ever collected. It is a beautiful piece, beautifully sculpted. Love the darkness on here. This is from one of the comic book covers, if I don't, if I if I recall correctly, of Jackie here perched on the roof with the darklings over him. So we're gonna be talking about the darkness today, but just not necessarily this particular statue. But again, I think it's worth noting, one of the oldest pieces in my collection, one of the very first statues that I ever bought. Love it. It's uh, an amazing piece. I would love to see this in a quarter scale. So maybe here I'll put a few photos so you can see some close-ups on it. Um, it's actually a very, very beautiful piece. Very nicely sculpted. So I'm going to actually highlight some more pieces that I got a few decades ago uh, that was sculpted by the amazing Claiborne Moore. Uh, you know, from the videos that you've seen me do, you know that I love uh, The Darkness, Angelus, uh, Witchblade, that whole Top Cow universe is absolutely an incredible story to read. So let's get started with what I got. So I got a mail call. I sort of kind of peeked, but when I saw what it was, I decided not to open it and just do an unboxing of it. So with this Kickstarter program, eh, I think every time they reached a certain milestone, they added more things to, to, the, uh, to the program or to what you would get. Let me put that aside. So First thing, this is again all about the darkness. We're celebrating the 25th anniversary of uh, Mark Silvestri's The Darkness character and uh, his debut in comic books. And so this is, they did this with Witchblade, but I did not get in on that Kickstarter, so I'm kicking myself. I haven't even been able to find that on eBay or anything like that. So one of the first things that I see here is that this came with a really cool sticker. Nope, wrong. This is a pen and you know I love pens fig pen just stay tuned you're gonna see a bunch of fig pens hey by the way fig pens the darkness that would be great to have some fig pens of the darkness but this is a uh, a little pen of Jackie Estac Estacada right here so let's take a look at what else we have really cool uh, what should we open next oh, let's open this and uh, I'm sure it's a t-shirt because it said it was going to be a t-shirt. And let's see what we got. Hells yeah. Oh yeah, man. Check this out. Freaking awesome. This is a fantastic t-shirt. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Logo of the darkness. Let's see if they got my size right. Getting a few pounds there. You know, we're going to call it um, quarantine pounds. I'm going to be working on getting those off. Get back to... Uh, Looking good at 52. Or is it 53 this year? I, 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 I don't count anymore, but it's, it's up there. And I haven't grown up one bit. So let's see. The next thing that we're going to look at is here. Oh, yeah. We got, what do we have? Oh, a beautiful Beautiful art print. I think Mark Silvestri did this. I know you're like, show it to us, show it to us, show it to us. But I have to look at it first so I can tell you what it is. Uh, all right, beautiful. This is definitely getting framed. If I get to go to another con here soon, this will be going with me 
to be signed by my man Mark. And um, because he's usually at every con we've ever gone to. So let me unfold this so you can see what I'm looking at here. Some of you guys will instantly know who this is. We have Angela's at the top and can't wait for a premium statue of this beautiful woman to come out of this character, one of the artifacts from the Top Cow universe, if I, if, I, if I may. And then you see at the bottom, you have the darkness here with those two ladies. He was quite the ladies' man. And uh, this is a beautiful print that they included in this Kickstarter. So, oh wow, I really, really like it. Look at it. Yeah, it looks great. So, we'll put that aside. And there is more stuff. All right, so I don't ruin anything. I need to go get a knife. I'll be right back. I am back with the utensil that I need to open this. Uh, as I think about this, this is so different than when I used to do videos. I used to care so much about how I came across and man, I hope they like me. I really don't give a shit. Uh, I just want to have fun. So we're going to open this because they got it taped down. I want to make sure because there's a lot of stuff on here. It may not look like it, but man, is there a lot of stuff. And I'm going to get some things wrong because I'm not reading the list of all of the things that came out with the Kickstarter. So I'm going to wing it. And maybe after I learn more, before I edit the video, I'll put it up. So, man, they went all out with this bad boy. Kept adding really cool stuff. Not sure why I need a door tag, but it still looks really cool. Uh, it doesn't, it says uh, lights up. Not sure what that means. Uh, the darkness there, uh, hang on your door tab, not sure. But it's still, the artwork is freaking amazing there. All right, so first thing we're going to look at a darkness number one uh, by Enos Celestri Bait and I think it's Fe uh, Fearcho. Uh, this is a new cover, 25th anniversary commemorative edition of The Darkness. And if you have not read this comic, it is absolutely, absolutely well worth reading. Uh, this came along when I was at the stage in my life where I wanted to read. I love my characters, Captain America, Spider-Man, all of the Marvel Universe, DCs too, but a lot of Marvel. But as you grow up, you kind of want to read stories that have more adult things that you can identify with. And that's what I absolutely enjoyed about this particular uh, company, Top Cow. They came out with a universe that talked about stories and things that an adult would like and not necessarily, you know, the great superhero stories. And here we go with another fantastic cover of Witchblade 1 by Mark Silvestri and, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, my bad, by Mike Michael Turner here, cover. The great, amazing uh, late Michael Turner. But yeah, this is a 25th anniversary of Witchblade, first edition uh, comic. Man, it looks really good. So the reason why I'm probably doing this this way and you guys are like, what is he doing? And I'm looking at it and not showing it to you because this is the first time I'm seeing it too. And I am telling you, I am absolutely really um, very, very pleased with what they included in this Kickstarter. This is a beautiful picture of Witchblade. And I think I would love to be able to go to New York this year or whatever and take these and have them signed. And maybe if CGC is there and have them graded. I mean, I've read all of these comics, of course. And if you haven't read The Darkness, it's a great story of crime, mafia. If you like, I tell you what, in, in modern times or in, you know, cinema times, if you like something like Ozark without the supernatural part of it, you're talking about a story like that in uh, the darkness. It's pretty dark when it comes to certain aspects of it, but again, you've got a crime boss, you've got every element, sex, crime, you name it, it's all in there. And so here is another cover, 25th anniversary commemorative edition, where you've got Angelus and you've got the darkness here on the cover again with this one. And again, in it, Enos, sorry about that, Enos, Sylvester Bate, and for Chow, or for Cho, and of course, you'll have those people out there that correct me. Uh, I follow art, not necessarily an artist. And now, another piece that I have to get signed. Classic uh, Jackie with his Darklings. Look at this bad boy right here. Looks absolutely amazing. 
another fantastic ad. The artwork on it, just fantastic. I wish they would uh, kind of come out with a new adventure for Jackie. And then you get this little card here. This is, again, just like the same image that you had here. It's a postcard, which I will send to no one because I'm keeping uh, a postcard there. And then bookmark, of course. This could come in handy if you're going to be reading the omnibus of this. And a coaster, which I'll never use as a coaster because I'm not going to set anything wet on it. I'm just going to keep it. Uh, another really great picture of Jackie here. And what do we got here? A trading card of sorts. And I would tell you who the artist is, but I have my glasses on so I can't read. Uh, it says 25. 25 years. Yeah, baby. Story that that uh, stands the test of time. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. Another picture on the back there. And we have a 2021 calendar. We're already in March. <laughs> 2021, I just got this. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, another one. Um, I think he would give uh, Captain America a run for his money. You know, in the show where it says uh, America's ass, Estada, uh, 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 Jackie might give him a run for his money there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Got some stickers here. And the darkness does two stickers there. That's a lot of stuff in this Kickstarter. So let's open this, the main event. And so now what you have, oh yes. Now what you have, put that aside, is the, what I'm calling Omnibus. What you have here is the first, I think, 10 issues of The Darkness. And I'll look through this just to make sure that I'm right. Um, they may have included some new stuff, but as you can see here, the omnibus of what I'm calling the omnibus of this hardcover looks absolutely amazing here with the art here on the front. I think this is Silvestri on the front here. And on the back, you have the artwork here. Um, and it actually says Kickstarter at the very bottom. So, you know, this is part of the Kickstarter program that they had to, uh, that they did to release this particular piece. Put that aside. I'm not going to kill anybody. Um, but in the very front cover, you have this signed by my man, Mark Silvestri, right here. Awesome. Signature right there. That's fantastic. So as we look through this here, this is volume one, which leads me to believe there'll probably be other volumes here. Uh, the cover art, of course, is by Mark Silvestri. Uh, first edition design and layout by Vincent Valentin. Uh, this is, of course, the first edition by Elena Sal Sal the first edition by Elena Salcida. And uh, here you have the chapter one, which is the preview. Um, the artwork in here is just absolutely fantastic. You have artwork by Michael Turner in here, and everybody knows what a great artist he is. And as you can see here, one of the things that always drew me in to Witchblade, The Darkness, those this particular entire saga from Top Cow was the artwork by these amazing artists, coupled with an with an amazing story, in my opinion of intrigue and oh, I mean, just you name it. It was just a real great story to transition as I continue to read comics to transition into from just reading about superheroes and Spider-Man and Captain America and Batman and all of that to have new heroes or new stories in the comics that were on the scene that actually you could enjoy. And this was a great, great story. Um, I was looking for the page where <laughs> Angelus and the darkness consummated their relationship. So you remember I showed you this here, right? And I was pretty sure this was from one of the covers in the, mag in the uh, comics. So I think I found it here. And here we have here, I think it issue three maybe. 
you have here the that almost identical image from the comics, which I think is actually that art is based on. So that pretty much concludes my little unboxing of this Kickstarter from Top Cow. Fantastic offering. Very, very happy with it. You know, I wouldn't imagine that I wouldn't be because I just love the story so much. And being able to support this Kickstarter program was pretty awesome. So with all of the cool stuff that we have here, I think it was well worth it. I'll have the comics, like I said. Probably have those graded just because. And uh, stickers. And of course, we can't forget this amazing statue that did not come with this. But if you guys are ever thinking about changing this to a quarter scale piece, I think it would be an amazing statue. One that I would buy day one. And uh, of course, this beautiful artwork here. We got that as well. Well, remember to always collect what you like and not the hype. Until next time, my friends. Peace.